So, some sound advice on where to put your pennies. Now it's time for a celebrity challenge, and we'll go over to Games Master to find out what it is. Nice to see you again. I do hope you enjoyed my last little jaunt. Rather a competent player, wasn't he? For my second challenge this week, I thought I'd opt for a spot of football on Manchester United Europe. It'll be a game of two 90-second halves in which a talented Manchester United formation will pit themselves against the classic skills of Liverpool. I trust we'll all be treated to a display of exemplary gamesmanship. And our two contestants trying to get the ball in the net tonight are Simon Reynolds from Bishop Stortford and his opponent, Wimbledon and England striker, John Fashionu. <laughs> Now, Simon, first of all, I see you're wearing a lovely Ipswich Town top, are they? I see you brought all the supporters with you as well. Yeah. Um, is this your team or is it just a cruel joke? It is my team, yes. Well, my commiserations to you. What kind of tactics will we see from you in the game tonight? Good, close, clean passing play tonight. Not a skill? Oh, yes. Well, yes, talking about definitely. your skill, we're now going to your opponent tonight, John Fashionu from Wimbledon. John, how are you going to play the game tonight? I think, like Simon says, I think the crowd have come here to watch a nice, clean, enjoyable game in a good spirit. <laughs> I think over the years, Wimbledon have built out the reputation of being fair and honest, and that's really just what we want to do. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> right, well, we'll see if that all comes through. If you'd like to take your seats, lads, and then we'll get ready to kick off. And joining me in my newly converted pulpit dugout tonight, from Software House Renegade, home of the Bitmap Brothers, Tom Watson. Tom, welcome to Games Master. Good evening, Dominic. Now, what's the sort of basic skill you've got to master with Man United Europe game? Well, quite simply, it's passing. It's all about that, about being able to control the ball with a player and move on and find another man. OK, then. Are our two competitors ready? OK, then. John, kick off. Simon is in the white Liverpool 70s team. straight away there. And that's going to be very important for this match. Okay, Man United, Steve Bruce picks it up in midfield. Oh, my God! Come on! Oh. That was a bit unnecessary, I think, Dominic. Surprisingly, I'm surprised. So Liverpool show Man United. Now, here, here, awesome. here we have the set-piece system. This is a uh, target which indicates where the ball can go from a set-piece. So John's put it straight forward. Straight to pick, Crazy Horse himself. Picked up by Emlyn Hughes. Emlyn Hughes picks it up right towards the Man United box. It's picked up John, by John Thompson. John does it wrong. Steve Hyde picks it up. He's got the buzzer. Gives the shot. Oh, it's oh, it's Gary Bailey's quite comfortable there. Gary Bailey flicks the ball out. Oh, Dunn is up. He's got his angle there. Defence is solid there. John's certainly coming in with some good tackling, but I think what both players have shown. Oh, another foul. The referee didn't think that was uh, requiring of a booking. The referee will second judge time. the severity of a tackle and oh, look at it in that situation, whether or not it's a foul or even a booking. Right, so lines up the free kick, powers the free kick again. Oh, oh, John hits the post, he's off the bench. Oh, uh, John can get up the pitch. Tackling. Okay, John Carter taking out the midfield, taking out towards the man in that box. Oh, post again. Chris Royer gets the ball up, sends it to the middle again, but Man United defence is solid there. Gary Powell's oh. picks up. Oh, no. And there we go. The half time is oh, it's still nil. No. Well, it's all very tense here indeed. Simon appears to have been doing the most creative play, but John's tackles have been crunching. If you want to see how the match ends, tune back in after the break. Unfortunate Ipswich fan Simon Reynolds is taken on Wimbledon's John Fashionu. The score at the end of the first half was nil-nil, but they hit the woodwork several times, so it looks like we're in for a cracking second half. Okay, John Fashionu, of course, playing classic Man United, from right to left in the famous wedge strip. John Tasha plays a nice ball back there. Phil Thompson sends it out to the right wing, but there's nobody there. Man United, oh, Georgie Best picks it up, staying on his feet for once. John Fashionu under the cover. There by the defender. Oh, but picks the ball up, takes it up the right flank, moves it towards the centre, looking for a player up front. Is he going to pass? No, he takes it himself. He's got in the middle. He needs to pass. Move that ball on. And there's a player on there. Can he make it in? And he can. <laughs> oh, to hit the bar, to hit the bar from two yards. Really a lapse of concentration from John. Yeah, it's slow. Hits the crossbar. Yeah. Oh, what punishment? What punishment? John Torshak. What an amazing counter attack oh. from this. Just look at the crowd now, Dominic. They really are enjoying this. 
Bucks for the Bucks was calling the home there. Mind you, right, Dennis Lowe, Pitt sends it back. Ryan Wilson picks it up. And, and Steve Bruce gets it again. Steve Bruce going up, up the middle of the He needs block. to move that ball forward. Oh! oh. Come on, come on! I think it may be getting to it. Just a question of pride for John now. Get, getting on the score sheet. Stevie Bruce running up the middle of the park. He's looking for a man in space. There's not one. He's got to dig himself. There's a man in space to his left. He ignores him. He's running He's up into the park. What can he do with he the shot? The the ball. Just taps into the goalkeeper. An awful waste. Ray Clemens long up. John Tosh has sent it again. Again, straight to the goalkeeper. Uh, Simon must be very confident that he's going to take Liverpool to a victory in this match. Okay, Tommy Smith picks it up. Tommy Taylor loses the ball. Picked up. The Kevin Keegan. We haven't seen a lot of the match in the game. It was, all, it was all square at half time, but you let him have it in the second half, didn't you? Oh, absolutely, yeah. We did a lot of research into how Fash plays, and uh, he played into our hands in the second half, you know. The lad's done great. Right. <laughs> now, John, you must be sick as a parrot. We well, obviously are a little bit disappointed. I think the crowd will bear with me. I think they thought it was a goal as well. <laughs> a controversial decision. You Just know, like 1966 all over again? Exactly. Um, I don't bear him any hard wishes, so, you know, all the best. I'm not a bad loser. OK, well, John's got every right to be unhappy because he's missed out on the chance of our fabulous Golden Throbbing Games Master Joystick. <laughs> so, please, be hands together again for our winner, Simon Reynolds, and the gallant 